Yes, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another vlog. And first things first, let me just apologize for the lack of content recently. I've been having so many issues with my laptop, not even my laptop, but the software that I've been using for video editing. It's just not been letting me export any YouTube videos so I can create content for Instagram, TikTok, anything where I can do short videos, but long videos, it's just not having it at all. So I've changed software and hopefully this one does see the light of day. So anyway, we are currently seven days out from the BNBF Midlands qualifier. And so it's P-Week, you know, it's P-Week. Technically, P-Week started yesterday um, as we are doing a linear load. Um, so this week we've just been running the baseline diet all week and yesterday we started loading. So linear load it just means that it's going to be a very gradual increase on carbs throughout the week. Obviously, you've got to judge it day by day. So um, today I got up, weighed myself, done a check-in, um, sent the photos over to AJ, and then he sent me over my diet. So yeah, that's how it's going to be run all week. Um, lots of check-ins, so in the morning, and then again, post-workout. So yeah, um, got to make sure that I keep my tripod with me. But um, so far, so good after day one. Um, a little bit fuller than yesterday, but still um, a lot of room for improvement in terms of fullness anyway. So with some physiques, they can get away with being on the flat side. Um, they still look great on show day, but for me, I need that fullness because it's literally night and day difference between presenting the flat physique versus a fuller physique. Like just in terms of the presence, it's big round muscle bellies, you know, and um, even if I'm sharp and I'm flat, it's just not that same, do not have the same effect, do not have that same impact. So yeah, we definitely need to be full and I'm sure it will be on show day. But um, you know, it's, it's just gonna be very interesting to see how this goes throughout the week because I've not actually done a peak week like this. Usually it's a backload or some kind of backload. Um, I've even tried like just keeping things the same because um, I've done many shows, many different peak weeks. But um, yeah, this is the first time doing a linear load. So yeah, exciting times ahead. So peak week can make or break a physique. So be very mindful about the changes that you make and don't do anything without good knowledge and good reasoning behind doing it. Now, for me, I've been controlling a lot of the variables throughout the whole of prep. So training, frequency, and the intensity, you know, the amount of sets that I do, the salt intake that I'm having, hydration, all of that. So coming to peak week now, it makes it very easy to adjust things. And um, with a lot of people, they're not controlling any of the variables. So they'll get to peak week and then start uh, measuring stuff from there and to be honest if you don't know exactly what you've been doing it does make it harder to adjust and um, adjust what you are doing because you've got no base data to work off if that makes sense one thing that i must say is that if you're not in shape peak week a very good peak week is not going to change that you know um only thing that can do that is dieting for longer so unfortunately you can't be saved you can't be saved, but you can still present the best look that you can um, come show day. Just don't do anything too drastic and don't do anything too crazy. Um, a couple of things to just be wary of is changing the foods that you're having very close to show day because these kind of things can affect your digestion, can make you bloaty and you do not want that look on show day. I've seen it happen so many times. Um, I've done it myself where it's just not digested well, whether it's the food types or the amount of food volume, um, which is another issue. So yeah, just be very wary of that. So anyway, guys, let's get to today. What's on the agenda? We're gonna head to EP, I'm gonna train push. Um, so today's training is still going to be at normal intensity. So we're gonna be able to push really hard. And I do know that they've got a few new toys at the EPI in Jungle, so very excited to use them. Um, also, since my last YouTube video, there has been a bit of an upgrade to my stack. So my sponsors, Illegal Nutrition, have brought out some new products. And we've got the hydration, which I took this morning. I'm also going to have some intra-workout. And we've also got, one set, one set, one set. Oh, some EAAs. Um, if you check out the um, ingredients panel, 
on any of the products which Illegal Nutrition do. It's absolutely insane because they do put a lot of thought into the products which they bring out and do want to make high quality products. And that's just not me saying that from a biased point of view. It's just the truth. Don't believe me. Have a look at the ingredients on every single product. Top tier, top tier, top tier. Now, obviously, I'm going to have some stim and pump mixed with some stim free. Now, I'm showing you them here because what I've got into the habit of doing is mixing them here, taking them with me, and then when I get close to the gym, I just down them in the car um, whilst I'm on my way. I'm not, yeah, you can, you can drink and drive now. Not, obviously, not alcohol, but um, yeah, um, I don't want to promote anything that's dangerous. So yeah, um, pull over. So this is what I do. I drive, I pull over to a nice safe place, drink my pre-workout and then drive the rest of the way to the gym. That's what I do. Okay, yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm going to have that. Um, well, going to prepare that and then we're going to hit the road. All right, so we're here at EP, Iron Jungle, and recently they've been making a lot of changes to the equipment that they've got. So some days I come in and pieces are missing, and then some days I come in and they've just got some extra new bits. So today I'm gonna go a little bit off plan. Number one, because I'm filming for YouTube. So yeah, I've got to make it interesting. And also it gives me the opportunity of um, just having a bit of flexibility with my training. Now, all I'm gonna do is just swap light for like. So, um, yeah, still gonna be on track with what I'm supposed to do, but um, like I said, it's gonna be light for like. Now, today we're gonna to start off with what's supposed to be um, Swift Machine Press, but we're gonna use a hammer strength, hammer strength incline press, the plate loaded. Now they've got one of these at the gym which I work at, but it's slightly different. The handles are uh, like facing opposite ways, like tilted downwards, and I don't like it. But this one, as you can see, handles are facing upwards. How it's supposed to be, well, how I like it to be, and uh, it feels really good. So yeah, let's go and have some fun on this. Just to make note, I have had my pre-workout. I have done my stretching and warm-up um, exercises. So I'm feeling fresh, feeling good to go, and um, yeah, got the headphones, turn on the music, so let's do this, man. Yeah. Easy. So you'll probably notice on my warm-up sets, I don't do that many reps. Now this is because all I'm trying to do is just bridge the gap between the warm-ups and the heavy set, the working sets, without wasting too much energy. So as long as I get the execution right and um, you know feel a nice contraction with the muscles, then I'm happy. That's fine. You know I don't need to be spending lots of time on the warm-ups, lots of reps, just wasting energy for the sake of it. I want to save as much energy for the top set so I can push as much and get as many reps out of the heaviest sets as possible. Oi. Light work, man, light work, light work. Let's go. Big set, man, big set, big set. Big set. It's easy. Hey. Yeah. Three, two. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. And again. Why? Why? 
but so last set let's go let's go last set big set man, strong man strong 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 too easy it's too easy hey <coughs> yeah <coughs> Nice. And again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, really happy with that last set. Um, feel like I got every rep out that I could possibly get and I do actually really like this piece of equipment and um, you can get a good stretch um, at the bottom of the the rep and then um, you know the contraction sick so yeah really happy decent weight today so yeah good start good start for sure so now I've moved on to the Nautilus press seated press um, I do really like this it is supposed to be a dumbbell press but to be honest last few times I've been doing them I'm just not feeling them and like stability just ain't quite the same the strength ain't there so yeah it's like mm. and today because I'm filming it's a good excuse to just swap and change for this press today um, like I said before I like it feels good I've used it um, in the past and um, yeah we're going to see where we get to today I think we'll be on on like four plates um, done this last time I think got like six reps so we want to try and match that but hopefully get a one or two more you know we're always trying to progress even in the deficit you know go in give it 100 percent and then um, let's see what we get big set big set <sighs> easy this man easy 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 all right let's go let's go let's go strong hey Ooh, there we go. Come on. Come on, got more. Come on, one more, one more. Easy, 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 easy. Let's go. Big set. Hey. Two. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. And again. Boy. Okay, so that's all the compound pressing done for this session. Yes, it's just four working sets. Um, I've got very good chest, good shoulders, good front outs. So we don't need to do too much uh, because they are quite dominant. And so and now we just move on to the isolation. But I must say, I'm happy with the numbers today. Managed to match last sessions. Well, say last sessions, but the last time I've used each of those pieces of equipment. So really happy with that. And now um, let's continue the same intensity and strength going into seat level raise. Now I like this one, but it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. Um, no, I actually do like it. I do like it if I can find the pad because that seat, it needs to be like closer to you. So um, what I normally do is get this little gray pad, wedge it between my chest and actual pad, um, just to put me in the correct position, because if you don't use it, it just feels a little bit off um, in terms of the angle. So let me go on a hunt for this and um, see what I can find. Okay, so I just searched around the whole gym, can't find it, so I've got like a makeshift one. Piece of block and a piece of block, a block of wood and 
this little bit of cushion that's broken or something. So yeah, hopefully this works. Um, wish me luck. Okay. All right. So this is fire. All right. Bus. Oh God. Come on. There's more, there's more. Easy. Hey. Oh yeah. Go on, big set. Big set, big set, big set. There we go. Oh my god. Oi. Alright, so with the incline cable flies, um, it's a bit hit or miss for me. Um, it's about getting the setup correct, and today I think I've done that because I feel a lot in my chest. Even though when you look back on the video now, it does look like my hands are more pronated than they are, um, almost like I'm doing some kind of um, dumbbell press, but honestly, I'm not. It's, it's a good fly and um, yeah, great connection. So, really happy with that, really happy with the numbers and um, we're moving on to the lateral raise cable lateral raise man um back into the session now i think back into the session but i still got triceps after this do you know what just thinking still got quite a bit of work to do so yeah um no talking let's get to it Easy. Warms him, warms him, warms him. Hey. Easy, man. Easy, 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 easy. Mm. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I can't lie, those were some tough sets, man. Every set, so on that exercise, it's three working sets, and boy, I felt it, man, I felt it. Got one more exercise to do. I'm gonna try the Flex Fitness tricep extension if it's not being used, but from what I can see, it's being used. So hopefully, um, we've not got too long left, and then we'll go from there. But if not, I just stick to the plan and do what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's supposed to be an extension and again that's an extension so yeah like i said just like for like today um so yeah let's go all right go on big set last set last set come on let's go let's go why <clears throat> Come on, let's go, let's go. And again. All right, so that's training done now. Um, been a good session, that flex fitness, tricep, extension or push down whichever one it is um, it was all right it's gonna take some getting used to um the like pad feels just a little bit narrow for me because you know why am i that you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um yeah i just need to get used to that but on the plus side there's no elbow pain usually on those kind of machines i feel like a lot of my elbows and with that i didn't not on a single set not even on the heaviest one so i'm um, really happy about that and we'll defo give it um, another run for sure. So um, post-workout, what I gotta do now is send some progress pictures to, um, or update, uh, checking pictures to AJ now, showing the physique, post-workout, and then i um, gonna go through lots of rounds of posing. And um, yeah, you know, P week and that, gotta keep practicing, make sure it's polished for show day and that's that that's it really that's it for training but you know there are some plans which have made later on so um yeah stay tuned So as you can see guys, even though I'm prepping, I'm still trying to live as much of a normal life as possible. Still socializing um, when possible. Um, today was Manchester Carnival. Um, I wasn't gonna go initially, but the sun was out and you know, I just felt because it's local as well, um, you know, I may as well go and pass through. So I'm glad that I did. So a lot of people that I know there and um, had a lot of fun as well, as you can see when I was on the ride at the end. But um, 
guys thanks for watching this vlog there'll be many more coming now and um, now that my software is actually working so um please make sure you like subscribe and comment and then um, just spread the love man show some love and um, appreciate all the support so um take it easy and i'll see you again soon peace <laughs>